Nurse, he's still looking very weak. And he said he has sore throat and mouth sores. Um, we noticed he's still looking very weak. And that's why we've decided to run different tests on him to know what exactly is wrong with him. But don't worry, his test result will soon be out. Hmm. He's unable to eat the food I brought for him. Maybe I'll have to go home and prepare something else. Yes, madam. You have to prepare something liquid he could drink. That would be better for him. And um, don't worry, it's going to be fine, okay? As soon as his test result is out, we'll know what exactly the problem is. Then we'll know what we're dealing with. Very well then. Let me quickly go home. I'll be back soon. All right. Please, help me to take very good care of him. Ah, madam, well, it's my job. Papa Emeka. Uh -huh. Let me quickly go home. I'll be back soon. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Kafo. Oh, thank you, my love. Please don't call me that. Your wife just left. And I'm sure you don't want her to hear you call me that. Please, I don't want trouble, though. If I should start thinking something else. Uh, I, I, I've told you before now, there's no need to carry out any test. Huh? No need. See, if I just use my lips, hmm? like lips like this, to just touch yours, uh -huh. I'll be made who? True, just lips like, mm -hmm. Oh, so even in your condition, you still have the mouth to express your demonic feeling for me? I say the sickness is not yet serious yet. Uh -uh. Is it not just... Yeah. Only... Oh. Excuse me. Please come. Sorry, you've been there sleep when I enter, say, make him up. And hope say don't you feeling better. I'm not feeling any better. See, I want you to do something for me. Say, make I help you call the nurses. No. Please, I want you to help you get a packet of cigarettes. Eh? Make I help you get a cigarette. See, I'll be very happy if you can help me do it. I need it more than any kid right now. Now, what do you want you to do for this condition? Uh, see, I needed to better my condition. I told the nurses, but they won't believe me. Just help me go get a pack of cigarettes. Then I'll be fine. See, now cigarette will make you feeling better. Now, when cigarette turn to uh, medicine, I'll be in the sun. Where they make you feeling better? You won't understand. I beg you in the name of God. See, just go and get me, and I'll be forever grateful to you. I promise you. Hey, see, as you see me like this, I don't like trouble. Oh. Eh? If I can't go and help you buy cigar now, if doctor or be out in nurses, if they can't know, not trouble. Oh. Because the doctor say, no person not smoke cigar for this our hospital. If you, especially person where they sick. See, don't worry. Eh? I'll be very, very careful. I won't even allow anybody to know or even see me. I promise you, I don't want to die. Eh? Say, if you don't smoke cigar, you go die. Yes. Brother, bring money. Make I help you go by and make it for another five hours. Thank you very much. Your scan result shows you can't afford to have any more injuries on this head. This is the sixth time in six months you're sustaining injury on this head. No. No, you mean you could tell you. Now that my stupid wife waited for house. We be say every time when me and she fight like this, now they break bottle for my head. Now you make you go tell. I'm warning you because she says anytime you hit her, she uses the bottle as an act of self-defense on you. You have to stop beating her so she stops breaking bottle on your head. How you go say make her no big person? We be saying now nah, trouble now nah, him be in trouble. Make her no beat her. Just as breaking bottle is the only language you understand. What do you mean? Nothing. You want to insult me not? Oh, I'm only trying to tell you she's your wife and not a punching bag. If you guys have issues, sit down, discuss and stop hitting her. See, make I tell you, Nuz. You know, know that my wife. You know, know I'm at all. That woman, jealousy don't kill her. If you say, if you take jealousy, push her in jail, so the hypertension will kill her. A woman is like a saxophone a man must learn how to play. 
Play it rightly and you hear the nice appealing sound. And play it wrongly and you hear sounds that will disgust your soul. I mean, it's up to you as a man. Mm. Yes. Hello, Mr. Kato. Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you were resting. I disturbed you. Oh. Anyways, um, your test result is out, and mm. now we know what is wrong with you. Uh huh. Yes. And what does the result say? Um, it says you have syphilis. Huh? What sort of rubbish is that? Huh? Wait, I hope you know it's very unprofessional to joke with such a very sensitive issue. Yes, I know. And uh -huh. that is why I'm not joking with such an issue. I'm serious. Here's the result. Come, are you sure there's no mistake somewhere? Not at all. The lab scientists ran the test more than once. And not because we don't believe you can't have syphilis, but because we wanted to be doubly sure. And why are you acting so short? What kind of a stupid question is that? Am I supposed to be jumping up with excitement? But you shouldn't be so surprised. You have more than one sexual partner and you keep indulging yourself in an unprotected sex. There are consequences for everything. And mind you, this result is long overdue. This is not possible. It's not possible. How can I have syphilis? Me, all round that. I just told you how. When you have more than one sexual partner and you indulge yourself in a non-protected sex with an infected person, that's where you can have syphilis. And there are signs you didn't even pay attention to. The disease has eaten deep into your system. I usually don't have unprotected sex. The only time I tried it was just once. And that was with a very beautiful lady that is so clean and pretty to have any disease her power auto you need to see that Hi! Oh, I still have little or no knowledge about sexually transmitted diseases you know what let me educate you that one is clean on the outside doesn't justify ease or her cleanliness on the inside that girl might not even know she has the disease herself she might not know well, the good news is that the disease is curable. So, um, how long will it take for the disease to be cured completely? Uh, I can't say precisely for now. Let's start treating you first. Uh, let's see how fast you respond to treatment. But well, one more thing that is very important. You have to tell your wife about this so that she can come for her own test as well. No. Mm -mm. Don't try it. My wife must not know about it at all. Awania. And what if you've been infected already? The earlier she knows, the better for her. Before it gets worse. No. Don't tell her anything about it for now. Eh? When I am completely healed, she can come for her own test. Because if you tell her anything about it right now, she will start asking questions I will not be able to answer. Uh, um, do this for me, please. When she comes, just tell her I'm suffering from um, 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 typhoid, or uh, malaria, or headache, or imago ugumbu so massage. Uh, but that would be very unfair. You know. She's your wife. And you know as well as I do. Itself is not fair. Hey. He didn't believe it that he could contact the disease. And for the first time since I've known Mr. Kafa, he looked so unhappy. It is good for him. When you want them to take things easy, they won't listen. I just hope he hasn't infected his wife. Ah, that one is another case on its own. 
I told him we need to invite the wife so we could run tests on her. But he insisted we should not, because he doesn't want his wife to know his escapades. And I hope you're not planning on listening to him. Oh, like Because God knows I cannot keep a thing like this to myself. If Mr. Alcafa does not want his wife to know about it, so be it. We can only try to convince him otherwise. We cannot tell his wife without his consent. So, I will try. You will try? Mm. You will try as in? You try to tell her or you try not to tell her? I will try. Is this possible? There's only one way to find out. Mr. Terry, have you been smoking? No. You are lying. We can passive cigarette smoke. What is wrong with you? Is this an act of ignorance, lack of self-control, or you just don't have respect for your own life? I felt I was going to die if I don't smoke. I needed to better my condition. Mm -hmm. So you're better now. So you can stand on your feet and shout hallelujah for your healing, eh? Your family is running health skills, they're trying to raise money for your transplant. The least you can do for them is quit smoking. I'm sorry, nurse. But it's, it's just difficult to quit a habit like that. Well, by the way, how did you get the cigarette? Because I know you're too sick to get up from the sick bed to go get the cigarette yourself. Um, I sent someone, but I actually begged her and insisted that um, she helps me get it. Hmm. Who? I promised her I wasn't going to say anything. Ha! Huh. Nasty. If it wasn't you, because it's definitely not me. We have only two more hands in this hospital. Two. What sort of question is that? How can I buy cigarette for any patient, let alone a patient suffering from kidney infection? But definitely someone might have gotten the cigarette for him. And from the way he spoke, it sounds like a female. So who? Ah, uh, Biliki, come, come. Let me ask her. Biliki, huh? why did you buy cigarette for the man in what be? Eh? Now the man tell you say na me buy cigar for her. Yes. Yeah. Ah, you no go better for this man. Eh? Say be tell me say you no go let you na see this cigar. Eh? And I tell her say I no want trouble. Na help her, na help her He didn't tell me you got him that cigarette, but I know it was only a naive person like you that can do such a stupid thing. I am so disappointed in you, Biliki. That was a dumb thing to do. Ah. Hey, I na the boy na beg the man they beg me o. Eh? He say he go die if he no smoke the cigar. Now I can say okay o, make I help and go buy him o because he say make I save in life for him. My friend is an addict, and he could say or do anything just to satisfy his urge. If the doctor finds out about this, you are sad. I beg, now tell the doctor. Eh? I no go do him again. I think say na help and they help him. Just go and continue what you are doing, and don't make such mistake again. <laughs> Thank you. Come back here. Won't you beg me not to tell the doctor? You know I'm not so good at keeping such secrets. Sabina, now I just beg, eh, beg everybody now. I did not hear my name. Oda, now Sabi, I beg you not tell the doctor. I don't go draw me again. Hey, not good enough. On your knees. Now. Now Sabi, I beg not tell the doctor. I don't go draw me again. Better. Go and see no more. Aside from the medical effort to save this man's life, I really think he needs prayers. I have never seen such height of addiction before. It seems men have the highest level of addiction now, Saidi. We're dealing with three levels of addiction in this hospital right now. Promiscuity in the case of Mr. Okafo, woman beat in the case of Mr. John, and cigarette smoking in the case of Mr. Terry. Promiscuity and woman beating are not addiction per se, compared to smoking. Ah, they are. They are even worse than smoking. What's up, girl? What do you think? No, they're all worse addiction. I can't tolerate any men. I can't. It's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Considering the three addiction cases we have at hand, I would rather marry a promiscuous man than marry an addicted smoker or a woman beater. What makes you think that's the best choice? I can't think of any reason for that. Just my choice. And what if you are asked to choose one? Who would you choose? Well, I would choose a faithful and non-smoking woman beater. Why? That's a wrong choice. What if he beats you to death? You can never have a happy home with a promiscuous man. But with a woman beater, with understanding and patience, I can as well change my man. Hmm. Okay. Um, Nasabigyo, huh? what about you? What if you are asked to choose? I'd rather remain single for life. Huh? 
What if you're asked to choose one? If I have to choose, there are certain things I have to look at. First, his looks. And secondly, how rich is he? Oh, happy girl. Okay, let's say they all have good looks. And they're all very rich. It still depends on how rich he is. Is it Victoria Island kind of rich or Banala Island kind of rich? Can you just choose one and stop arguing for the sake of conversation? I still have to make the right choice. Mm. Okay, let's assume they are all Banana Island kind of rich. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm an addicted smoker. Why? It's the best. No! I think a woman bitter is better. As long as you don't give him any reason to beat you, your home will forever remain peaceful. Ah, a woman bitter doesn't need any reason to beat a woman. It derives pleasure hitting her. I'd rather marry a promiscuous man because I know as time goes on, he's going to give up the habit. And what if he doesn't change the habit? Think about this very well. If you think about it, you know addicted smoker is the best choice. No, 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 no. Don't you know there are so many things attached to an addicted smoker? What if his kidney gets infected just like the man it would be? Uh, then he'll suffer the same pain the man it would be is going through. No, no. It's not as simple as that. You as the wife will have to continue running helter-skelter until your husband gets better. Mm -hmm. And worst case scenario, the man will die and you'll become a widow. Oh, yes. I'm not just an ordinary widow. Since he's a banana island kind of rich guy, I will become a rich widow. What? You mean you don't even care if the man dies as long as the man has enough money for you to inherit? Yes. I would have tried talking to him, but as an addicted smoker, he won't listen to me. It's not my fault he died from his habits now. I will keep on living my life. Huh, happy girl. Mm. You are so mean. Thank you. I will take it as a compliment. Huh? Huh. Mr. Citrulis. Sorry, Mr. Okafo. How are you doing today? Come, 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 Miss Happy Girl. <laughs> I don't have time for your loose mouth this afternoon. Eh? If you're here to look for my trouble, I swear to God, I'll go and report you to the doctor. Now get out. Sorry, I was a slip of tongue. I didn't mean to call you Mr. Syphilis. Syphilis. What sort of stupid slip of tongue is that? Eh? You have loose mouth. And if you don't take your time, the way I'm warning you, you will lose your job. Oh. Eh. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Soka. Good afternoon, nice. Papa Emeka, hmm? I heard your voice from the corridor. Why were you quarreling with the nurse? She has loose mouth. Can you imagine she called me uh, 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 Mr. Syphilis? Nurse, why would you call my husband Mr. Syphilis? Does he have syphilis? I don't have syphilis, so... I, I asked the nurse, not you. Uh. Nurse, ma, does he have syphilis? Um, madam, you know I'm a professional nurse, and there's something we call confidentiality. And I'm also a Christian. You know, as Christians, we're not supposed to lie. I'd rather not answer you than lie. Hmm? Yeah, the one. Papa Emeka. Huh? You have syphilis. You have syphilis. Where did you get it from? They don't sell it in market. Hey! God in heaven. So you're still jumping from one woman to another. Will you ever change? You see what you have cost? You see what of course, Nasani girl. Me. Mm. What did I do? You told her everything yourself. Ah. Nurse, huh? I need to get tested. And Papa Emeka, hmm? pray you've not infected me. Because if you have, I'm leaving your house for good. So you're happy now, Abby? You're happy now? You want the truth? I am very happy. You're a witch. You are a witch. Your name should be changed from Nurse Abigail to Nurse Witchcraft. That is what you are. I will take that as a compliment. Witch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>